Hello everybody and how are you on this wonderful and incredible week? We've had rain which is amazing. We came back safely from where my husband was working. That's wonderful. And today it's our choice to make it a great day. It's our choice to look at what is happening and say that is awesome and I choose ease and joy and glory. Yes, I don't might not I might have to stretch my budget a little bit. Yes, I might have to uh, go a little bit further. Yes, I might have all the children at home and they're rambunctious. How can life get any better than this? And when you really want to put your fist through the door, stop, breathe, because uh, you're going to ask yourself. How can life get any better than this? And say it 10 times. The other thing that I use that really, really works is everything is always working out for me. And I love the message that came forward today. Everything in God's creation is perfect. And that is why we can choose to say that everything is working out for us, no matter what it looks like. And I don't know who listened to the energy of the week yet. This week, things are going to come up to test us, to strengthen us, to give us some uh, vibrational muscle so that we can go th grow through disappointments, frustrations, fears, angers, own them and get um get into sync with ourselves and become have some integrity which means wholeness if we don't see our own perfection it's because the lies in our story keep us from seeing the truth the truth is that every human is born perfect because only perfection exists isn't that beautiful everything in god's creation is perfect hey kelly how are you hey jackie how are you and then when this popped up expect miracles i thought wow so aligned here we've been told about perfection that everything's working out for us look and see where the lies are and say truth this is my truth or goodness truth that one's a lie and then we expect miracles expect a miracle today something will come into your life that will serve your healing so be open to it and express gratitude for it when it occurs your goal today is to know that the world becomes a vessel for the divine when you see the divine in all things and how amazing is that that there's a perfect plan a perfect purpose and you create it so what do you choosing to create because here comes the kicker i let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love when you can see others through the eyes of love which means acceptance understanding and compassion and for me it's all part of the second energy center where you see that person through the eyes of compassion and you honor them for their journey because let me tell you you might not want it to be your journey you truly truly come to understand that everything is perfect and that the lies that we've been told that we aren't good enough we can't do enough we'll never uh, create enough are all nonsense and when you take it on as your own you're creating a reality that you don't necessarily choose to live and i have definitely come to experience that that we choose to create our own realities and yes wake up and say today is a great day for miracles today is a great day to see what i'm creating and where it can be a miracle and where i choose it to be a miracle where i make the decision to create it to be a miracle by looking at and saying everything is always working out for me and how can life get any better than this here's the tip of the day say this 10 times in the morning and 10 times in the evening all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory and that helps you to see other people through the eyes of love and to let go of the past especially seeing as the energy of march is throw out the old and bring in what is best for you what is great for you and how you are choosing to create it 
Oh, Jackie, you are so welcome. Jackie says, thank you for this. Yes, today is a great day for miracles. Rona, oh, my husband says, you are my miracle. I appreciate you. Likewise, sweetheart, we've walked a long road in our 34 years of marriage and 36 years of knowing each other. You're not so amazing, ladies. My husband remembers our wedding anniversary. I don't always. And uh, that is so special. That is what is so miraculous. So, Go and see others through the eyes of love. Because when you are looking at them through the eyes of love, you are looking at yourself. And that way you can see, does this belief serve me? Does this belief not serve me? Does this thinking, is this thinking truth or is this thinking manipulation? Yes, it does mean throwing out some people. Or what it means is you're not throwing the person out, you are honoring them for their journey and you are not accepting what is not aligned with you from them. And that is what is so incredible. Uh, let me tell you, Roland and I have been through some torrid times together and uh, we had to uh, come to understand that we don't throw the person out, we just put up better boundaries set up grids and communicate, 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 communicate. It was so awesome while we were away last week. Several things came forward and whereas before we would have gone <laughs> at each other, we've said, stop, what is right about this we aren't getting? And it opened such beautiful avenues of communication. And for me, that is what it's all about. Where can you communicate? Where is it time to create? And also, I agree with you, Jackie, sometimes it's to say goodbye to people in our lives when it's not aligned and you aren't able to communicate effectively and uh, abundantly. And that's when you expect the miracles of asking for the truth of a situation that you're not getting so that everything is perfect and you might not agree with the person, you may not get on with the person, you may not even like the person. In fact, you may heartily and absolutely totally dislike them. In fact, we can use the word hate and hate them. You can still love them because you look at their journey and you say, it's not aligned with mine. I choose not to accept it as part of my journey. And people, that's okay. It's okay to do that. That is what is being in integrity with yourself is about. When people get sick, when they aren't well, when they're accepting things, it's because they're out of alignment with their truth, the truth of their journey, their rite of passage, their creativity. Jackie says, oh, thank you. Kelly says, that is so sweet, Roland. Jackie says, how beautiful you and Roland support each other. I am very blessed. Uh, Jackie says, okay, so yes, I have been working on loving myself. Absolutely, because if we don't love ourselves, how can other people love us? And that's accepting ourselves warts and all. Um, and it's when we accept ourselves warts, temper tantrums, uh, um, what's lost scope, our uh, scattered thinking. It brings it all together and allows things to flow. So what was the tip of the day? 10 times in the morning, 10 times in the evening, all of life flows to, comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. And add to that all during the day, how could life get any better than this? Things are always working out for me. Because when you do that, you open space for more greatness, more creation, and more power. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, and come and join us in the Optimal Awareness for Driven Entrepreneurs free Facebook group where I ask you questions, I share tips and tools with you, and I help you walk into living your best life by clearing the crap so that you can create the cash. Bye-bye, because we go from stuck to unstoppable.